What's up guys, it's Kevin from Case Work Fitness. Today I'm gonna to be breaking down the cluster. All right guys, I'm gonna walk you through some of the key points of performance here. The movement starts with a hinge or a deadlift to get into your cleans. We wanna get proper mechanics there first. Once you get measured up on your hands, you have to be able to establish this tight position here without zero rounding. If you're doing this movement, you're probably already familiar with the deadlift, but just to be sure, want to make sure that you are having tension on the barbell with zero rounding here. So as you get into your movement, you'll pull from the floor like a deadlift. And then the secondary thing that you need to have is a good front squat. So I'll go into my clean front squat. My knees are out, my elbows are up. And then from there, push the bar overhead. Super important every time you go overhead, this arch of the back cannot happen. As soon as you get out of your front squat, you gotta squeeze the butt, pull the ribs down, and try to get the bar to be in line with your shoulders, not out in front. So from the side, you have a vertical torso, back flat, vertical, squeeze the glutes, bar is straight overhead, back is flat, Tendency anytime you're coming down from an overhead position and lowering on the hinge is when it's very likely to curve around your back. As you come down, keep the tension in your shoulders as you go into your next movement. That's the cluster. Get after it.